DaVinci Resolve's AI Voice Converter is a toolset designed to swap one voice for another voice in your project. This tool operates by taking a voice model and a separate audio recording as a performance driver for that model. You can use this tool to enhance your own voice tracks by giving them more depth or authority. If you have an audio recording that is in less than ideal, noisy conditions, it's even possible to change the actor's voice entirely with a different one, while maintaining a perfect sync with the video. The converted voice will also keep the original performance inflections, pitch variation, and emotional delivery. Using the AI voice converter is pretty straightforward. We'll begin by placing the clip you wish to modify on the timeline and select it. Here's a little test clip that we'll be working with. You can access the tool by right-clicking on the selected clip and choosing Voice Converter, or from the top navigation bar, Clips, AI Tools, Voice Converter. Next, we have to pick the location for our new audio to be placed. You can click Render in Place, which will just overwrite the original, or select a track. Don't worry, nothing here is destructive, so we can always go back if needed. Next, we can just put a name in here, or we can use the metadata variables. By default, it's going to use the clip name, and then it's going to combine that with the name of the model that we use. Next, we're going to choose a voice model. There's a few models here that come with DaVinci Resolve, but we can also create our own models, and we'll be doing that later. Since the performance is primarily driven by the source material, we only have a couple of customization parameters. Our first is type matching source. Check this box to closely follow the pitch, intonations, and the voice dynamics of the original source voice. Uncheck to allow for a looser interpretation using the pitch variance control. Lower values produce a more monotone result, while higher values introduce greater pitch variation. For pitch change, negative values create a deeper voice, while positive values create a higher voice. All right, so next let's hit render. Conversion time depends on the duration and quality of selected clips. Once completed, the new audio clips will appear on the timeline as well as in the media pool. Here's a little test clip that we'll be working with. To revert back to the original audio, simply right click and select revert to original voice. So now let's make our own voice model to use in the AI voice convert. First, we need to gather some assets for the voice model to train with. It's recommended to aim for about 10 minutes of high quality, clean audio recordings of the target voice. You wanna make sure that this is free of significant background noise, any ambient noise, or any type of dynamics processing like compression. The material is select, it should sound natural and consistent. You also might wanna think about including including a range of emotional expressions if you intend to drive a model with varied performances. As we all know, AI is like a sewer. What you get out of it depends on what you put into it. All right, so now we have all of our clips. So let's select all the prepared clips in the media pool. Right click on the selection and let's go to AI Tools, DaVinci AI Tools Voice Training. For the first time using this, DaVinci Resolve might prompt the Resolve Extra Downloads Manager to install the necessary supported files. Then you get hit with the AI Scary, Be a Good Person, click Accept. All right, next we can add in a clear descriptive name for our new custom model. Next we get hit with the Faster Better option. Better is going to take roughly three three times as long as faster. Now the processing times obviously vary dramatically based on your hardware. Processing the 10 minutes of audio footage in better mode can take several hours. But one benefit is when you start creating the model, it starts in the foreground, but then becomes a background process. This allows you to continue working in DaVinci Resolve or any other application while the training completes. The voice model generation is resource intensive, which could impact performance on the system. While the voice model generation process is active, there's a a little icon down here in the right hand corner. You can pause or discard any ongoing process from here. If at any point you quit DaVinci Resolve, the background process pauses and automatically resumes the next time you start up DaVinci Resolve. Once training is complete, your new custom voice model will be available within the Voice Convert Voice Model drop down menu. All of the DaVinci Resolve AI Convert processing occurs locally on your computer. Your audio data is never uploaded or sent to an external server or cloud service for processing. And that's also the same for all of the source material and training for the custom voice model. So I think that covers everything for the AI Voice Convert as well as making a custom voice. We're no strangers to the hour. You mother <laughs> Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this one.